congratulations to all of you on this film. Terrific work across the board. watching there's something about Mary inside the mind of the man who made that. Was there always the mind of the man who would make Green Book? Was this story, this kind of filmmaking always inside of you? Um, you know, I, I started as a novelist, so I, yeah, I, I, you know, but I liked writing comedies. I had a good time, and I, I, I was often asked, do you think you'll ever do a more dramatic piece? And I always said, yeah, like, you know, when it, when it happens, when the universe brings it to me. It, I never planned things. I probably should have. We'd have done number number two. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, uh, no, I just, it's when things drop in your lap and, and you say, oh, that's my next thing. And this happened when I ran to Brian Curry about three years ago. And I said, what are you, what are you doing? And he said, I'm writing a screenplay. And he told me this story. And I, I was like, that's a home run. And I couldn't stop thinking about it for a couple months. I mean, he'd lie in a bad thing. I can't wait to read the script Brian's working on. And, uh, and driving in my car, I finally I called him. I said, how's that script coming? He said, which script? I said, the one you told me about. He said, which one? I said, the one with the concert pianist and the, and the bouncer. And he said, oh, we haven't started it yet. I said, well, can I write it with you? Uh, let's start Monday. And then Nick and Brian and I got together. Wrote, I'd never met Nick before. And the three of us sat down and did it. So I guess it was there. Hmm. you guys about this story. This is your father's own story and, and you guys wrote it together with Peter. If you could talk a little bit about just finding the heart of the story and especially the relationship uh, between the two men. I can't talk after this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a story, you know, my father told us since I was a kid I was really wanting to do it at some point. It was just a matter of with pizza it just happened when it happened. And I, Brian and I got together to talk about doing something. I said, well, you know, maybe the story about my father. He's like, what story about your father? And I told him. I said, are you nuts? He goes, you've never made this movie before? <laughs> and uh, like Pete said, he worked to Pete and, uh, you know, everything aligned. And uh, I always knew it had the heart, and it was an amazing story, and it just turned out even better than I could imagine. father as well, who was a sweet guy but a product of his time, and uh, his whole world was his apartment and his family, and we've been lucky enough to bring the world into now, you know, your family, and, and realize, you know, a guy can change, a person can change if, if they walk in another person's shoes, and and really, they're becoming friends for the rest of their lives. It's, it's an amazing story, and uh, just so happy to be involved. Anytime with a Pete, in a Pete Fairley movie, I might add, the sets are always fantastic. People are so nice. It's so collaborative. If you really want to know Tony Bellanga, just watch this movie. Vigo was Tony. All right, well, let's hear from Vigo and Mahershala. Uh, and I want to hear a little bit about taking on the roles and also establishing the chemistry, the relationship between these two men who become friends. They sure don't start out that way, but they develop something over the course of the story. Working on his weight, trying to pick it up, eating his pizza. 
pizza. <laughs> well, Hershey, you want some? I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, so, uh, so, yeah, that's how we basically kind of connected and started. No, I was, when I knew that Mahershala was going to play uh, that surely, I was like, wow, this is really going to be something. Um, but I, I love the script. When I saw the script, I was surprised. Pete Fairley wrote this with, with a guy named Brian Curry and a guy named Nick Valonga. Pete Fairley's going to direct this. I'm like, wow. This is, I mean, it's like, it's funny. Reading certain things, but it's not funny. It's a different kind of fun, and and it's a really great story. It's, I mean, it's just first time I read it, I had to read it immediately again. Was like, this is a story. It's basically about um, very seemingly very different people uh, that end up spending time together, learning about each other, learning to understand each other, whether they set out wanting to or not. How great for any time, but especially for the times we're in. What a what a good story this is. And the third time, but I was also looking. You know, then the third time I'm really thinking, okay, first comes story, then comes the character that somebody wants you to play. And I thought he is great. He's funny. He's like it's a really big challenge. I like this. I love this relationship between these two characters. I love the fan. I love everything about it. But I don't think. I mean, I'm aware of the fact that some of our finest uh, actors are Italian-American, <laughs> and there are a lot of great portrayals of Italian-Americans out there, frankly. And I was, I was worried about that. I said it to me. I said, you know, it's really great, but I don't know. I don't know. He's very convincing. He's very convincing. <laughs> ask Universal, ask Participant. <laughs> and uh, ask all of us here, you know. But, uh, so I was like, okay, if you really think so, if you really think so, and, you know, and, I mean, all his ideas sounded great. I was like, but I was still, I was extremely nervous until we sat down and spent those hours together, and then it started, and then, and, and when I started to, when I got to know Nick better, frankly, um, and his family, and when they started to share with me what Tony was like, and what his relationship in, in the recordings, him talking about Doc Shirley, Doc Shirley talking about Tony, pictures, just this wealth of information which I would have never been able to put together. The, I don't think we would have had the relationship on screen without all that information you guys shared. So, anyway, I'm super glad I didn't check it out. And uh, <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. I'm so, it was, it's, it's amazing to see this movie with you guys. I'm so happy about this movie. It's such a good story. <laughs>
and Nick's whole family was so open and generous with everything. And I felt like I knew her because, you know, I'm Italian American. I've grown, you know, all the kids I grew up with were, you know, Italian, Irish. You know, we all grew up in a Catholic school, Mexican. We all had these huge families. So I, uh, I felt like I really understood that dynamic and it was really fun to play. Nick, and I said, you know, I was trying to, you know, you're trying to grab all these things as an actor, you're trying to think, like, you know, make a character, what's your laugh, like, what's your laugh, like, everyone talked about how she had a huge laugh, and everyone talked about she was smiling, and I said, you know, I feel like I know her, what's her birthday, just out of curiosity, and he said, June 25th, and that is my birthday. <laughs> Octavia, your producer on this film as well. The last time we saw you on the festival screen, it was with a movie called The Shape of Water. <laughs> you seem to pick them very well. Can you talk a little bit about how you got involved in this project and why? Well, that's a very interesting question. I had uh, the great pleasure of working with Jonathan King and Jim Burke uh, for a participant for the help. And, uh, you know, Jonathan and I uh, have friends and we all get together for Thanksgiving. And he told me, I have something I want you to read. I would love to see if you want to be a part of it. And I read it thinking, there was going to be a part. <laughs> and I'm reading. And I was like, there's no part. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> okay. um, but no, I, he asked me to, to, to be a consultant um, because, and this is what I found very interesting. He said, in the room of executives, there were a lot of white men and none of them were from the South. And I grew up in the South, way, you know, well, well, well after the Green Book, guys. Like, I'm an 80s child. I was born in 1985. Um, but, uh, so, you know, that's the, my roots, and, and I read the script, and I thought it was amazing, and I said, you know, I don't know what I could possibly do, because it's brilliant on the page, and you have two of the best actors in the world, um, but I will be happy to do whatever I can do and be a, any type of voice um, that I... Whatever. I, I, I just fell in love with the script. I think you guys did an amazing job. And um, thank you, Jonathan King, for this wonderful pot of jam you've thrown me into. <laughs> Question. 
All right, snooze you lose, we're gonna go right here. Go ahead. Yeah. I took a lesson for about two months with the gentleman here, who also is the composer, Chris Bowers. But I'm pretending. <laughs>